Yeah, definitely figured it out they're on the right side, not on the left side. Again, with continuing on on this video, like I said, I came out here to do a video on catching fish so I could take home to feed my family. As the video went ahead and evolved, I also was paying attention to the comments that were going on on our channel. One of the biggest things was the braid and how we spool it and why we spool it the way we do. And, you know, they were listing so many negatives. Well, here's a bunch of positives. on my mind it's a nice day to go yeah i got a line i'm a caller the whole team been eating everything we've thrown out there. Yeah. All mine anyway. Uh, the, the bigger ones, they can keep their head down for a bit longer. The smaller ones, they, they come right to the surface when I'm pulling them in. So. <clears throat> Many that are new to the channel don't really understand the whole dynamic of using hollow core braid on their reels and or by the amount of line capacity that we are putting on there. This is going to give you all a first hand account of what is going on with the braids when casting as you all have watched our spooling videos on the channel and seen how close we get it on there. Well, as we spool for customers, we spool for ourselves. This gives you the idea or the knowledge that we actually go out and do it firsthand. It ain't just we hear it works, we go out and show you it works. Just because a lot of people haven't tried it doesn't mean it's not able to be done. You just got to learn about it. So we're in here, we're going to show you over and over and over again how easy it can be done while fishing. Oh, wait, it's the next one's turn. Uh -huh. <laughs> now it's this one's turn. <laughs> First one bounce, second one bounce. <laughs> that one ain't bouncing, it's mine, damn it. <laughs> Almost there, man. Almost. Come back next year. Uh-oh. 
Oh. That's a good fish. Yesterday, I busted my leader off everybody. Everybody stared at me like a gunshot went off. That, I still don't know what happened. I didn't even have a rat's nest, nothing. It just fucking, it just snapped. It had to be a bad spot in the line, I'm guessing. It just snapped. I can't believe he reeled it in five minutes later. <laughs> what are the chances of that happening? Not very good. But I'll take it. Oh. 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 Still going at it. Another nice sand trout, probably. The old fat one. I don't think I've ever seen this much sand trout caught at one time anywhere. Damn. <laughs> it's fun just to watch him. <laughs>
to eat anyway. Yeah. You try to sit down. I noticed they like bigger pieces of shrimp. Yeah. When I was throwing the little bitty stuff, they weren't really going for it. Ten seconds later, it hits. <laughs> I would just hold it. It's going to fix the catch for him. <laughs> Remember the spotter? He always waits till I sit down, so I'm just yep, increasing it. it. It's the, already bounced. Yeah, I'm now the other ones, they're both bouncing. The bigger hook up faster. All I'm doing is like I'm, I'm, I'm pushing it, pushing it on my hip because uh, when I'm at work, I'm, I'm, I guess I'm concentrating too much on not doing the wrong thing, you know. So I, I tend to just wrap shit, you know, without thinking. And over here, it's, obviously, it's not heavy, but I definitely get my cast back. from one to the other. Oh no. I 
love these sizes when I was fishing bob off here. Man, I had to take full rest all day long. Yeah. No word about when they're rebuilding it? Or when they're going to start? No word yet. This side. I ain't got much longer anyway. Well guys, as this trip comes to an end, you got to see a lot of the sand trouts that I caught and others caught and helped me fill up my stringers. So I'm definitely going to have enough to, you know, feed my family and members that are coming over. And it is something that I normally don't use. I use my sand trouts normally for big bull reds or sharks so while I'm off of Bob Hall Pier. Well, it is closed and torn down. So right now I'm just going and rolling with the punches because the weather ain't where it's supposed to normally be right now we should be dealing with cold fronts and being really cold to bring in all the crazy fish and bigger size fish that we normally like to catch but again i am definitely going to be able to feed the family with some good fresh fish thank you very much